here when you're supposed to be on the gate. Huh? Well. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. I. Another word. He's talking to the wench. The music's like 30 times louder than people. Let's have a drink. What? We seriously just yelled at that guy? We're sitting on guard duty. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Whatever. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the cumans might creep up on us. Hopefully that's soon. About that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Drinking on the job? You better not. Gambling on the job? Why not? Go for it. Why not? I agree. It's gonna go better this time. I, I can feel it. I have no idea. I don't remember how to blaze at all. So we got ones, fives, three of a kind. 100 points multiplied by the given number. Three ones. I can re-roll and lose whatever I have. So right now I have 200. If I roll those ones, I don't care for that. Get one more one. I get, what, a thousand? That's, that's really good. That's good for that. Let's uh, hold, hold, and score and pass. No, score and roll again. Come on, third one. Ah, I see it already. They all came up ones. The hell just happened here? So is that two thousand? Because that means I just won. Um, and that's kind of ridiculous. So let's do it. Selected? Yeah, I got two grand. God, I never bet against me again, man. Score and pass. Suck a try! Well, there's the cutscene. Too bad we weren't playing for money. Those are the only times I ever win anything. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and... Closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Isn't that where we are currently? Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, yeah, take this Yeah, I've heard. I already have a fucking torch. So I'm doing this one on the ground. Do not need to. What is the hell am I away? Just, she just burst into flames. Where the hell is my horse at? Why am I walking like a peasant? Look at all these people now carrying tor torches. Not very respectable of the game to follow its own rules. Never. And you wonder how I didn't know that I actually had to do it or they would actually arrest me for it. Not that I'm still salty over it. Broken ass game. All right, so the bell should be right over here it appears. See, I have that for my horse. I want my horse to be super pretty. Hopefully soon. I'm sure it's part of the main storyline stuff. That you unlock horse or something like that. Oop, that must be the said bell. <laughs> Nailed it! Two out of the three rings, good enough. I'm from Scallets too, I still got myself a job. Hello. 
Ah, an honest hard day's work. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> No, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> I have no idea what the story's together. about. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut ache. If I was you, <laughs> Sounds like Hagrid. Before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after... This is his town. He technically bailiff. owns the land. The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, no. Is he here? It's true, I guess he doesn't technically own it. He is inheriting it. Under the table, maybe. <laughs> no! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <sighs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. More fist fighting. Great. I do really well at this, so. I also have metal gauntlets on. I feel like that's cheating. Mm. Cunt! Give that boss I'll have you. I'll have you. Oh, that was a knee to the face. That was a knee to his face. Stop it. I, did, I don't feel like I lost the fight, so let's just time out. There's a line sticking through us. What in the name of Christ is happening here? It's a great question. Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson by rolling around in the mud like a hog. That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not! You'll do as I've commanded! It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! I like that guy. Uh, it's not benefiting me so, much right now, have but... Responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go! Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey.
Okay, well, there's certainly a lot going on there. So, what do we do now, exactly? Ooh, an activity giver. Uh, you have a job for me, that's fine, I'm not interested. For noon? Between noon and when? Oh, you're probably still giving me my stuff. Also, it looks like it might be just now dusk. I have no idea. The prey. At dawn in the courtyard of the Apple Castle. So, the one I just came from. Is this not the Apple Castle? Son of a gun, it is. All right. I should have plenty of energy and food, so I'll just hang out there, I guess. Why not? Blackout from running up a hill. He took it, well, like a man. I know you. Here I am. And? You want to go hunting now? God's <laughs> only breaches. Come to the stables in the morning like a normal person. Just ask him again about it. Okay. What about now? He's gonna think I'm completely daft. Or daft. I could be both, I guess. Mm, let's look through here, I believe. He's gonna be pissy about my lack of a torch, isn't he? I suppose we might as well sit here. I could go home and sleep, but probably should go home and sleep. Mm, I'm hungry. I'm going to be super hungry. I don't know if I have anything on me to eat. Could, uh, could be a concern, I suppose. I suppose. Ah, uh, it's raining. Seems to be two dogs lying over there. And I'm definitely hungry. Hopefully there's food around here. Uh, I get up by pressing the skip key. Of course, silly me. Can I find any food? I feel like there should be a kitchen around here. Jesus. I'm part of the guard, so I should... I have to search you. Okay. They're constantly searching here. That's what I like about the other town. The other town, I had a bounty on my head. They didn't even care. They just kept on walking. Uh, can I pass a speech check? He's mildly... I'm here on important business. And you're gonna hold me up with some bloody inspection. You're the one holding things up. As you wish. Okay, I was just trying to get the speech Sorry for experience. Sorry but it had to be done. You may proceed. Okay, I will not lock back that because that seems stupid. Let's see from the pot. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted, actually. <laughs> All right, where is this guy? I am constantly being asked to be searched by that guy. Was up there? Are you freaking kidding me? Did you not just see that other guy search me? Why? For security reasons. All right, he mildly likes me, it seems, or he mildly dislikes me. I can't really tell. He's probably not going to be, you know. What's that to do with me? Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to do that. If you're here to peddle fairy tales, I'm not. Didn't think I'd be able to intimidate him. That was the word I was looking for. If you insist, you probably don't get a speech experience for failing. Sorry for the hold up, but it had to be done. You may proceed. Sure. I guess we'll just uh, continue to wait. Then. I mean, I feel like it's done, but you know what do I know? 
We'll cut it here a little early. That last hour takes a really long time and I have no idea why. Nope, there he is. Looking super douchey. Let's uh, put the torch away speaking about looking super douchey. I hope we get attacked by something. And we can bond over murdering people. That's what men do, right? Sorry, sir. It slipped my mind. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Yes. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. It was a cart horse, probably. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh, I just learned what woods are. Oh, I see. These are hunt his hunting dogs. Really? I can't just steal this horse? I suppose I can't. Yeah, that's a nice looking horse. Fair enough, let's be on our way. God, I really hope you get ambushed by bandits. And if it's like scripted in that you die, I'm kind of okay with that too. Well, so your horse sucks, I'm faster than that. Should get it looked at. Might be time for a horse tune up. Are you waiting for me? Let's go! Yeah! Hurry up, Blacksmith! <laughs> I believe this is still walking pace. Whatever. As long as there's some action, just don't give me another damn tour of the place. Enough of those for my lifetime. Look here, blacksmith. About that business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Hanush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes. I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorn a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Fair enough. You might not be quite as douchey as you first seem to be. Maybe I'm supposed to like him a little so when he dies I feel bad or something. I don't know. I don't have emotions, so that's not going to happen, but yeah. It's a thought, I suppose. It's a but nice view. It's else. sun coming in. your first time hunting. This kind? No. Yes. I've been hunting since I get a deer, deer earlier. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't. Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. I did kill a couple of bunnies too, but I did kill a deer, and that's I'm that's proper hunting. You can't argue that. Whatever. These quests are alright, but it still feels pretty to rush. I'm just happy now that I can actually like properly sword fight. Also, what is he doing? Guy looks like he's like straight up stroked. I'm sure it'd look a lot better if he actually had like a Listen, I wanted to ask you about that thing in his hand. I don't know if that is, sir. I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. Humans attacked scallops and then um, humans. Anyone who didn't flee. That sounds what delicious. They all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that. Well, 
It's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If camp. you wish, sir. What's your problem? You're a mercenary. Normally a mercenary will fight you. I think you can offer to fight them. And we're straight into fast travel. It's uh, actually kind of interesting. Did not see that coming. And I discovered a nest. Perfect. My life has been completed. This is a nice area, I suppose. Camp. Seriously, what time in the afternoon is it? It's barely morning. Uh, actually, no. That's that's the sun setting to the west. It literally took us 18 hours to walk out here. That is odd. Can't steal those mushrooms. Saddlebag. Wish I had a saddlebag. You got bacon. Just like that. Coming up, sir. At long last. Confirmed delivery. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am. We didn't do anything. Although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That Fair doesn't enough. matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. And there was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow, and sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time, even study is more interesting. You can understand that. What are we going to hunt? Humans. Yes! Humans. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> no, he's not serious. <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> We'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hairs, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know. Don't be a pansy, talk about it. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scallets. Right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scallets isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. It amazes me we took this long just to walk out here. At least it didn't make me actually do it, I suppose. Wait until dawn. Not interested. Why don't we just sleep? What's in here? Mm, nice. This isn't stealing. Oh, it is stealing and he can see me. So let's perhaps not do that. Interesting. You probably just tell me to take out in the morning. I probably don't actually have to bother sleeping. Stealing. I don't know why I said sleeping. That was weird. How am I? Is 
as we get our energy back up. Bam, as soon as you hit one hour away. Dead grind to stop. still sleeping for some reason. Sir, I should have eaten first. Wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. I mean, after that, I feel like you'd just be awake. Also, there's plenty of light out. Whatever, just eat from the pot. Just whatever. Deal with the fire. Right, what's my nourishment looking like? 64? We can up that a little more. Except that you're empty. Cook item. Right, I guess that's how I cook the meat. So just dropping things into the pot. That all seems pretty reasonable. Let's break into here. Uh, you know, I'm probably be able to get that dried meat and just eat it later. I'm probably just wasting my time. If it's gonna be particular about exactly when it starts, I mean, it's not like he like threw me in jail over it, but I kind of wish it would tell you. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't you flirting with him? your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After I still all, have your bow, so... Supporting, trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell? Uh... By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now this will be the third challenge she's lost to me. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Let's take those arrows, because arrows are expensive and hard to find. Or at least expensive. 30 of them, hell yeah. I am at 100.8 out of a 101. Let's take some dried meat. We'll uh, eat those. How much nourishment? Is that a fair amount? Let's uh, dump them back in there then, I guess. Just because I am overloaded. Not by much, but I don't want to see how much it might matter. Put that in there. We still have everything else should be fine. Put the food, put the food away, I guess, as much as I want to keep it. And I do. That's how these things happen. Let's equip everything we're supposed to have. Sword, shield, that's sword's still bloody. Alright, fair enough. Oh, you know what? Let's equip the proper arrows. That might be important. Is there a specific spot I'm supposed to be going to hunt? No, just do whatever I want, huh? Fair enough. This is actually going to be rather difficult because I'm terrible at seeing rabbits. 